I'm on my way, I'm coming. Um, babe, I need to meet up with a friend at La Silva now. Now? Yeah. Hey, babe, don't forget the preparation for my birthday. Oh, yes, that's true. That's true. That's true. Um, you were talking about using a hotel, right? Yes. So, do you have any hotel in mind now? Yes, I do. My friends were telling me about one hotel okay. in Kems. Kems Hotel. We, you need to see this place. They even sent me a picture. Wait, let me, let me show you. Very nice. The suit and the hall. Very, take a look. Very nice. See, see the suit. This is exactly what I want. I like the ambrance. Like, it's nice. See the hall. I don't even need to redecorate. Like, it's already decorated. Kems Hotel. Mm. I mean, you don't have to tell me about Kems Hotel. Well? I know everything about Kems Hotel. Really? That is where we use for our annual business conference now. Ah, oh, that place is fine. Um, I like it. Their medium-sized hall should be 1.3 million naira. And, uh, is what it? Having some friends stay overnight mm -hmm. and uh, feeding everyone. Mm -hmm. Ah, babe, that's 3 million naira now. Is that why you are shouting? That's huge now. That's big money. Babe. Is three million naira too much to celebrate my twenty-first birthday? No, no, no! Look at me. Is that why you are shouting? I, I was told that twenty-one is an important number. Babe, see, see. My business makes a good return every month. But you see, I need to reinvest forty percent of this profit back into the business. I have salaries to pay. I am living under salary myself. That's why we are living under this moderate apartment, baby. Eh? This is what you call a moderate apartment. This is not a moderate apartment. This thing here is a poor man's apartment. Really? Are you not called David? And your own David can't kill Goliath. Can't you all your employees? Next month, then you use the money for my birthday to make me happy. <laughs> you know it's not possible. That's funny. I can't, I can't, I can't. I mean, you saying all this, really? I should owe my employees? The biblical David killed Goliath for a good reason. <laughs> Owing my employees' salary just to make you happy for your birthday doesn't sound like what the biblical David will do. It doesn't. Hmm. How does he add up now? No, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'm not making sense. <laughs> you see, it's obvious. It's quite obvious that you love your employees far more than you claim to love them. But, but, you, like, know, but you know I Hold it. You know, you, you, you really need to go out more often and see your mates. See the way they are spoiling their women. Buying expensive houses and cars for them. Oh, now you're 3 million naira. You want to raise down the roof, but it's fine. It's fine. So, 3 million. So, where are you going? You think I'll sit down here and have you ruin my day? No. Babe! Hey, don't. Don't beg me. Go and beg your employees. And you can count them to them. On this birthday issue. Women. 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 But wait, oh, how can she think that I will owe my employees just to waste money on her birthday? Can't we do the birthday in this room? I mean, I hope she didn't hear that. She will kill me. This guy. Hello? I said I'm coming. Yes. I'm on my way. So David has sent you to meet you. Ah, 
can't even try to waste your saliva again. See, I'm done with that David who, who can't kill a Goliath. I am now enjoying my life with the Joseph. Who knows how to be king in Egypt? I need you to send a message across to David. Hmm? Tell him that I'm getting married next week. Because I've blocked him on all my phones. He has been disturbing me. Tell him that I'm getting married next week. Hmm? So that you stop sending both the living and the dead to beg me. I am done. Uh -uh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Please. I am done. Thank you. Yeah. Sweet team. What's going on? Are you angry with anyone? He, he, he's not that rat. Hmm? He won't stop sending people to beg me. I've said that I've made the love of my life. I don't want to have anything to do with him. That, that David or whatever name his father gave him. I've said that I've made the love of my life. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, well, thank you, Nam. Mm. You see, that is why I told you we need to get married on time. Huh? No, it's just next week. If I married you today and that idiot keeps calling you and sending people to you, <sighs> I will send him to the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Just the way Saul sent David to the wilderness. I know what you can do, I know what you can do. <laughs> Don't worry. Eh? It's just next week, everything will be over. You dressed up already. Ah, uh, yes, my dear. It's about the meeting I told you I have in Abuja. Oh, I'm aware. So my flight will be in the next one hour. Oh, yes. are you dressed up already? Why didn't you wake me uh, now? I didn't back. want to disturb you. Huh? No. Yeah. No. Where is your suitcase? Um, I is think I room? left it in the... All right, let me go and check okay. if everything is ready. You know you used to forget about oh. that. Are you serious? <laughs> so you really think my husband is dead? Hmm? Uh, Becky, shut up, shut up. I said shut up. Hey, shut up that you take him out of the party of country to give him a See, my husband is rich. Hmm. You need to see the expensive things he buys me. Coats, shoes, bags, him them. <coughs> see, baby, I know you. You will cry any day you come to my house and see the kind of things I have. See, <coughs> see, before you before you look for chance to come, I will send you pictures of our last trip to Dubai. <laughs> Did you see me yourself? <laughs> You're not serious. See. Age is just a number, as long as money is involved. You understand? No, he isn't for me. Mm, he traveled this money to have a job, a business job. Huh? Shut up, I beg you, talk too much. <laughs> um, see, uh, Pastor Mrs. I'll call you back. <laughs> Well, you won't have to be of help because you will soon beg me for help. I don't understand. Well, I'm Susan Daisy, the immediate younger sister of Chukwemeka, mm. the owner of this house. Welcome, ma'am. I received a call from a hospital that my brother is dead. Ah, my husband. husband. Due to heart attack ah. while on his way to the airport. My husband is dead. <gasps> and uh, I've been trying his number. I thought he was on air. Ah. You don't need to waste the water on your eyes yet because you will still need them for years to come. Listen, according to the customs of our father, you must leave this house within 48 hours. Ah, ma. And you mustn't take the paper with you when you're going. <laughs> 
Ma. That is my husband's house. Where do you want me to go? Your husband, uh, indeed. Yeah. Did you come and take you to court for a wedding? No, but he went to see my parents and he gave them money and they blessed them over it. Chukwemeka bought you as a prostitute. Oh. He didn't take you to court because he knows that you will not <laughs> inherit any of his property. Uh, no. <laughs> According to our tradition, the wealth of a man belongs to the children of his first wife. <laughs> any other wife aside the first wife is regarded as a prostitute and will not inherit any property when he's gone. But this is Chukwemeka said too. Prostitutes get pregnant and have children too. Well, I have delivered a message sent to me by the elders. If you do not leave this house as fast as you can, your dead body will be taken away from this place. <laughs> When we look around in our continent today, uh, we are likely to see a lot of young people who believe that money answered all things. And the meaning of that is, it doesn't matter what other thing is wrong. It doesn't matter whether I do not have feeling for you. It doesn't matter whether um, I, I really don't even like you. Uh, if you have money, uh, I should go into relationship with you. Uh, just as you see in this story, um, a 21 years old lady going after a 79 year old man just because of his money uh, did not end well.